is Timmy G. Welcome to the 12th edition of my tutorial series on DJ Pro 2 for Mac by Algorithm. Today's tutorial will talk about the visualizer and video effects in DJ Pro 2. Let's get started. So before we go over to uh, video mode, I do want to, uh, to say that I already have a track loaded and you do need a track loaded in order to see the full effects of the visualizer. So I'm going to go over right here to the top right and go to video mode. And then to get to the visualizer, I'm gonna, I click on this right here. And now we see the triangles. This is one of the um, default visualizer settings you can do. And to see the effect uh, in full, we can play the track. And we can see that the visuals are changing to the sound of the music. Uh, we, we have some options to pick here, so if I click this drop-down menu, I can see the cube, which looks like this. And then the halos. And then the levels. And the particles. And the triangles. So those are the only options that you have for the visualizer, um, but you can do a lot of cool stuff uh, when we start introducing the video effects with the visualizer. So to see the video effects, I'm going to click on this FX button right here, and then I'm going to click right here, and we'll start with visual effects. I'll explain the audio visual effects in a moment, but uh, we have all sorts of effects here that we can choose from. And you can use up to two video effects per track. Um, if you use both of them, it will not let you use a third. But um, I'm just going to quickly go through all of these and um, show you what they look like. track ended, so I'm going to start it over. And we're back to the original grid EQ. Um, you can also go and, like I said before, go to the audio visual effects. And I'm going to turn the dry wet knob on right now and show you what they do. So I'm going to go to audio visual and I'll pick echo. So right now, here's the track normally. And now I'm going to turn these on. And we can hear that the sound is being affected, but also the picture is being affected too. If you like the video effect here, but don't like the audio effect, one thing you can do is turn this dry wet knob all the way down, and then you will only hear the original audio, but you can still see the, um, the visual effect. So what I'm going to do now is just show uh, what all of these sound like and what they um, show on the, dis on the display. So there's the strobe. There's a bit crusher. There's magnet. Reverb. And back to Echo. Uh, now what I'm going to do is just quickly show what more than one effect looks like at the same time. The effects I'm going to combine right now, I'm going to go to 
um, the levels and start playing. Then I'm going to go to the kaleidoscope. And we see we can get from a triangle all the way to a circle. And then I'll do a RGB offset. And that'll kind of spread the colors out to give us a pretty cool effect. So the visuals that you can get while using um, both the built-in visualizer and the effects can be pretty cool. Um, the next thing I'm going to mention is that these effects also work with uh, videos and picture. So I'm just going to use one of their stock videos right here. Uh, I will use this grid right here. And our effects are still on. So when I hit play with the track, uh, we're seeing the video but with these effects on. So I can turn this off and I'll turn this off. But it, it is pretty cool that you can do all of that with these vi visual effects. Uh, this also works on pictures if you want to put effects on your pictures. Uh, but other than that, that's about it. In my next video, I'm going to talk about the video transitions and screen options that you have here. But yeah, so if you like this video or if it helped you out, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or video suggestions, be sure to leave a comment. If you want to see more content like this and check out my original music, DJ performances, or sound design tutorials, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot.